Good morning, everyone. I've had a lot of interest in this particular uh, wall plaque, so I thought I might show you uh, the next step, how I'm actually going to finish it. So what we have here is we've got five lengths of pine. They are 2 by 8 or 50 millimeter by 200 millimeter. I believe they are about, it's about 70 centimeters long and they're supported on the back if you can just see through the cuts by 2 by 4s Now I have drew out the pattern and I've carved it out. I've used uh, a lot of things to do that. I've used the Arbitec turbo plane, I've used Sabre donut bits, I've used discs, I've used sandpaper, uh, contour sanders, all kinds. But it's now sanded down to a 240 degree finish. Okay, I've just laid that down, so I'm going to show you a bit uh, up close how it looks. Pretty happy with this one. I don't really want to take the sanding any uh, further because then I'll be burnishing it more than sanding it really. And this is going to, I'm still going to do quite a few things to this. First step is going to be I'm going to give it a burn. The burn will um, cauterize it and I'll set most of that off and then I'll start adding some uh, wash. Alright, so step one I'm just going to be using some map gas. A uh, regular torch. I'm not doing a heavy burn on this one. I don't really want to raise the grain. I just want to give it some color and look for uh, defects. There we go. <laughs> and there went my lighter. Okay, we have flame. Alright, so I've burnt the first three panels and I've turned it over and I'll do those last two. Normally if I'm doing a heavy like Shosugi Ban burn, I burn all four sides but because I'm just using this as an effect, it will have a, a light burn. I'm only going to do the one side. Thanks. Alright, so now I've burnt the whole sign. Now I'm going to put it flat down and I'm going to sand it again and then give it a, a, a clean with uh, mineral spirits. Let that dry and then we'll start with um, some stain, some wash really. Okay, that's all sanded. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over it with some white spirit just to clean it up, let it dry off, and then we will start uh, adding some color. Okay, we're all cleaned down. Um, wiped off. I'm happy with the burn pattern. Now I'm going to be adding some blue. The blue is going to be the biggest base coat for all of this. And I'm going to use one of my handy dandy high tech homemade brushes. Make sure it's really nice and wet. Now I just want to get a bit of a stain of blue. I don't want to paint it. 
Wow, that's blue. Lovely color. So that's the whole board done with the first bed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another cloth and I'm going to wipe most of that back off. Wait a bit. That's got to be done and another sand at the same time. Oh. My biggest worry with this is that it will be um, too dark, but I don't think so. When I get this bit done, I'll stand it up. So we can have a look. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes and see what we got. Alright, that's had a chance to dry. You can see how that colour has muted quite a lot. Now, uh, quick sand. I'd give that a quick sand. What I want to see is the lights, the white coming out. That will give me my really good uh, um, color blend when it's when I finish it, and of course when I apply the um, shellac. Okay, a bit more sanding. We're ready for round two. This will be a, uh, a turquoise. Well, it's actually called azure, but it's more of a turquoise color. Um, I get this one from a local store called Home Re Revival. A friend of mine, Sarah Paley, supplies me with this stuff. Oh, wait, you're not supposed to shake it, you're supposed to roll it. But, I have an order to roll it, so, shake it. Alright, see how this one looks. Right, that's how we're looking. So we've got royal blue, turquoise, this other cerulean blue on it. I'm going to add one more light green and then I'm going to sand most of it all back off. Okay, changed a little bit since the last filming. So what I've done is uh, the client wanted uh, a little less color, a little more wood. So I burned it one more time and gave it another light sand. And I've just wiped it down with thinners. And they are happy with this. So I'm going to go and do the uh, shellac finish. Okay, this is my favorite time now. And I get to put the shellac on it. It's when it... Uh, can really see if all the uh, hard work, sanding, has been worth it. Okay, bit of barred team, shellac sanding sealer. And here we go. Yeah, that's looking lovely. Alright, and that is the final image. So that's just had the first coat of uh, shellac on it. It's going to have three more to go. It's going to be a bit glossier than that when it's done. But I hope you guys like that. I hope that uh, wasn't too boring. And can I just say, <laughs> this section right here, I don't know if I'm going to do that again because that was a pain in the butt. Everything else went beautifully. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. If you don't, if you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know as well. I'd like to know why people dislike stuff. Um, and thanks for watching.